Hello everyone, today let's learn how to estimate the value of median from the cumulative frequency curve. It's also known as ogives. So in this example, here is the class interval column. This is the frequency column. Now to calculate the median, we need an extra column which is known as the CF or the cumulative frequency. Now what is cumulative frequency? Yes, it's the added frequency. Now how do we find it? Well, it's very easy friends. For the first class interval, the frequency on automatically becomes the CF value also because there is no frequency before this. So that's why 4 is the CF of the first class interval. Now for the remaining class intervals to get the CF simply add the frequency of that class interval with the CF of the previous class interval. So in this case we will add 4 to 8 and we will get 12 friends. I hope you understood this. Just need to, uh, you can even use these arrows to help you get the answer. So 12 plus 20, we'll get 32. So in this way, 32 plus 14, you'll get us 46. Now 46 plus 7 will give us 53. Uh, this will give us, yes, 59 and 59 plus 1 will give us 60. That's it friends. Very easy to get the CF column. Now did you also notice that when we get the last CF value, it is also the total number of observations in the data. Now we have all the data that is needed to plot the cumulative frequency curve. So friends, this is the graph. Here is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Now what do we plot on these two axes? Well, friends, in the x-axis, we have to write the upper limit of every class interval. So whatever class intervals we have got, Let's just circle all the upper limits because this is what is going in the x-axis of the graph. Okay, and for the y-axis, we need the CF value of every class interval that is this entire column. Remember friends, it's the CF and not the frequency. So friends, I've already marked the upper limits of all the class intervals here and these are the cumulative frequency values. Now the scale that we have taken is on the x-axis 1 centimeter as 5 centimeter and y-axis 1 centimeter as 4 students. Now because this part is uneven, see 0 to 140 and after this it's a gap of 5. That's why we have put a kink over here. Now the first upper limit is 140 and it is to be paired with 4. So here I have 140 and it is to be paired with 4 here friends. Now some of the books also pair the lower limit of the first class interval with 0. Now that is also absolutely fine. Both the methods will give you the same answer. So friends, in this way, let me plot all the points. So friends, here I have marked all the points 145 to 12 and so on. Now we have to join all these points with a freehand smooth curve. Okay, so let's just do that. Make sure you use a sharp pointed pencil so that the errors are minimized. So here I have a freehand curve. This is the cumulative frequency curve. Now how do we calculate the median from this curve? It's very easy friends. All you have to do is find the total number of observations. Now that we have already found that is 60. Now we know that median is always the middlemost value. So how do we find the middlemost value? Yes, n by 2 which is 60 by 2 that is 30. That means the 30th observation will have the median value. Now in case your n is odd, then you can take n plus 1 by 2. But here n is even, so I got 30th. Now let's see where is the 30th observation on the y-axis. Remember, you have to take the y-axis. So here is 28, 32. So this has to be 30. So 30th observation will be over here, friends. Just trace this line till it falls on this curve. See, at this point, it is touching the curve. Then just trace this vertical line. Did you see that? Yes, just trace it all the way till it reaches the x-axis. When it reaches this point, friends, over here, and this comes out to be around 149, okay? This is the median value, friends. Very easy to find out. So the median that we got here from the curve is 149, okay? Now, in case your class intervals are inclusive class intervals, for example, 1 to 5, 6 to 10. Now, in that case, you have to first convert it into exclusive class intervals and then plot the frequency curve. So friends, I hope you found this video useful. If so, please do like and share. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments, your feedback or any other questions in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.